In this video, I wanna teach you how to do professional looking explainer videos just using icons in four easy steps. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because we're posting one minute tutorials on there every single week. That link will be below. So I'm gonna show you how to produce amazing explainer videos just using icons. These icons can be used with voiceover or as a cool way to show information. Uh, so let's jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, you can download project files if you want to follow along, but the first step isn't in After Effects. It has to be in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I have these icons here, but I'm going to give you a link below, which will allow you to go to this website called FreePix and download any icon pack that you want for absolutely free. Uh, just go ahead and check that link in the description and you get your own icon pack. And you can open up your download in Illustrator by double clicking on the .ai file or the .eps file. And I'll open up here in Adobe Illustrator. So you will need Adobe Illustrator to do this, but you don't really need any knowledge because it's really simple what we're going to do. So when you have your icon pack in here, we can see we have a bunch of icons. What you do is go to file new and you'll just create a new template. It can be any size you want. Just use pixels and we'll click on create and we'll go back to our icons here. And this is where we want to start isolating things. So I'm going to say grab one of our icons here, say this rocket. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to come here and paste it here inside of our illustrator artboard. Then we go to file save as. And we'll name it rocket and you can save it as an illustrator file click on save so then you're going to want to create new documents for every icon you want to use save them individually and then you'll have those available for after effects so go ahead and grab as many icons as you want to work with inside of after effects okay so when you have all your illustrator files saved out what you can do is select them all and you're going to want to import them right inside of after effects and you have all your illustrator files ready to go so the second part of doing icon animation is all about layout so the first thing you want to do is lay out all your icons and information to you know right here inside of after effects so i brought in my illustrator file one of them this is going to be the center part of what we're going to create here so i'll go ahead and bring that in there hit s on my keyboard for scale i'm going to scale this up now thing about vector icons is that you can click on this continuously rasterize icon right here and you'll have maximum fidelity so make sure that's checked on for every vector uh, or ai file that you bring in so you know, we'll put that right there. And what we're gonna do is create this layout in animation where these icons rotate around our center icon here. So this could be like a logo instead of an icon. Um, you'd be talking about your business and the services you provide, something like that. So I'm gonna come here and start bringing in these other icons and I can scale them up as I see. And we can put this right here and check on that continuously rasterize and we'll go ahead and continue bringing in more icons. All right, so after you have your layout ready to go, we need to move into the third part of icon animation, which is the individual animation of the icons. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that right now. For example, let's say I want to take this target icon right here and I want to have the arrow just animate in and hit the target. Well, you can't really do that because it's all one layer, but when you right click an illustrator file and you go to create and you click on create shapes from vector layer, that's going to allow you to animate all the layers inside of this vector object. So you can open up the outlines, go in the contents and you'll see a bunch of different groups here. Your job here is to kind of figure out what group is what. So we'll come here and start hiding multiple layers. All right, that looks like the entire arrow, those first four layers there, or those groups. So what we'll do is come here to add, and we'll add a group, and we'll bring this to the top so we know where things are at, and we'll grab those first four groups and group it into group 16. So we'll turn that off, boom, we know we did it correctly. So what we'll do here is we'll open up group 16, go to transform group, and we'll add a keyframe for position, and we'll move that keyframe just forward in time, maybe by a little bit there, by a few frames, and we'll grab the X value, and just move it over and we can move it up so what's going to happen boom that was animate into the target now probably what we'll want to do is move this keyframe over by a little bit because we don't want them to come on until later and we can also add a keyframe for opacity move that keyframe forward in time and set it down to zero percent so this way we won't be able to see that arrow in there and you know, boom it'll just come on a little bit later so you're able to do these types of animations so to show you another example what we can do we can grab say the clock here i'll zoom in and you know, once again, right click, go to create, create shapes from vector layer, and we can open that up. And maybe we want to animate the handles here, you know, the time. So we'll find those. So that's group one right there. And you might have to get a little bit creative with this. So what we'll do is we'll open up group one, go to transform group one, and we'll come into rotation. We'll rotate this. However, it's not going to rotate from the center because the anchor point for this object is not where it needs to be. So we'll come here and grab the pan behind tool here at the top grab that anchor point and just bring that to the middle so now this one little handle will rotate uh, around that anchor point so i'll come here to rotation i'll click the stopwatch and i'm going to type in time asterisk uh you know 100 or something like that maybe 200 
So now this will animate on forever and I can obviously apply this animation to the other hands uh, as well or other objects depending on what icon you're using. There's a lot that you can work with but you have to be creative uh, with what icon you're using but that's how you can animate your own individual uh, icons and do what you want with them. And before we move on to our next technique, I got to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics professionals pack, which has over 1400 templates right here for After Effects, along with a handful of categories. But one category we'll take a look at is the titles. So what you can do is preview a template before you apply it. And when you find the right template, you click on apply. And with a click of a button, we have a full title animation inside of our composition. We can go into that comp and quickly change out our titles. And you can easily change colors with a click of a button. And everything will update in our main composition. This animated background is from our motion graphics high tech category where you can just apply a really cool background. We also have some really cool particle overlays in here as well that you can apply into any After Effects project. So if you want to take a look at all the elements in this pack or any of the packs we have off our website, I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So I went ahead and animated my icons here. They all have their individual animations here. So it's up to you what you want to do with your icons. And because illustrator files were bothering me because we weren't using them, I went ahead and deleted those and just used the outlines here. So now we want to talk about overall animation where we animate the entire icon and not just a part of it. Um, and, you know, we have the individual icon animation out of the way. So first thing we can do here is just grab all of our outlines, come here to the beginning of our timeline, hit S on keyboard for scale, scale and add a keyframe for these and move them forward and maybe by a little bit less than a second and then set the scale down for all of them to 0%. And we'll grab all the keyframes and hit F9 on keyboard to make them easy, easy keyframes. Now they'll all come in like this. And we can obviously offset these keyframes in time, but we'll do that in a second. So what I want to do is have these icons rotate around our circle here. But as these rotate around, I don't want the icons to actually rotate to the left and right. I want it to always be facing us uh, like this. So what we're going to do here is use great rotations. I'm going to come here and grab the ellipse tool. And I'm going to come here to fill, make sure it's set to none, click OK. Come here to the word stroke, set solid color, and click OK. And from the center of our composition here, I'm going to draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift and control my keyboard. And what we'll do here is open up Lips 1, come here to Lips Path, and we'll right click up Lips Path and click on Convert to Bezier Path. A lot of paths here. And then we'll copy the path right there. Just click on the path and copy it. And we can hide or delete this layer. And we'll come here to our first icon here. So we'll say the cog, come here to the beginning of your timeline and just hit P on your keyboard for position, grab position and paste that in there. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna have this animation going on here like that. And you know, that's fine. But we, what we could do here is take these keyframes, drag them out to make this animation a little bit slower. And we wanna continue this animation to go on forever. So we'll all click the stopwatch and we'll type in loop out, capital O, open and close parentheses like that. So that will animate on forever um, and won't stop. Okay, so now what we want to do is we'll grab our keyframes here, copy them. We'll come here to the next icon, which will be, say, the rocket. And we'll paste that animation uh, right into that position. So now we'll have the rocket and the cog there. But what we want to do is offset the rocket in time. So we'll want to go ahead and do this for every single uh, icon that we have if you're following me. So this is a great way to create some really cool custom animation. All right, so now we have this really cool animation that comes on just like this one icon at a time. So your voiceover could be talking about each icon that pops up. But this is a really cool animation and some cool concepts put together here. But you can do whatever you want now. So now you should be able to animate your icons, lay them out, and do group animation. No problem whatsoever. So now you should be able to take any icon you want and put together a really cool explainer video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week like this right here on our channel. Be sure to hit me up on Instagram. That link will be below. And always... Be creative.